Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Now, this isn't going to be a rant necessarily. This is going to be more of a get to know me type video, if you will. And as if you as you can tell by the title, you know what this video is going to be about. So yeah. I've always been someone who is like very sensitive to sound and even like in vision and I'm also very skittish and, and jumpy. Like I'm easily startled. Like f for example, from second grade to the time I graduated, which was like from 2005, probably until June 3rd, 2016, which was when I graduated high school. I have just hated fire drills. Like every time there was like a fire drill, I would like cover my ears the whole time. And I would just sit there looking all tense like that. <laughs> because I didn't want it to scare me to death. Because <laughs> nothing's more startling than like when it's all quiet. Then all of a sudden, <gasps> beep, <gasps> beep, beep. But like a hundred times louder. I will never forget this one fire drill we had in second grade. We, like, th this fire drill made me cry. Like, I would, I can't remember if I was, like, startled by it, but I remember worrying whether if it was a real fire or a drill. So I, I, I was like crying and I was all scared. So my second grade teacher, Miss Louder, had to calm me down. And sometimes my teachers would get like, would gripe at me for like covering my ears. I mean, I'm, I'm not like, it's not like I'm trying to ignore, like, purposely disrupt, or not disrupt, but, you, you know what I'm trying to say, like, if they're, like, talking to us about something, or if there's, like, a lesson, or whatever going on, it's, it wasn't about that, it was because I didn't want to, I, I didn't, want the fire drill to scare the shit out of me or make my ears bleed. Like, that's two things. Not only do they scare me, but, like, I have a hard time handling loud noises. It, I can't explain it. It, it, it just kind of makes me feel stressed. Like, loud noises like that. I don't know. I can't really describe what it feels like. Another thing that pisses me off and triggers my sensitive hearing is like when my parents or my uncle like blare loud music but they don't use headphones. Like this might seem weird and you might not un un understand me this way, but I can, I can like blast my headphones like with music that I like, but like if it's like 
and I don't mind it. I I love that, but like if it's like my mom or my dad or my uncle playing loud ass music, you know, like blaring the loud music at like a thousand decimals or something. They don't use headphones, and I'm like with, and I can like hear it like. Whether it's like in the car or just playing in like the living room or something, like, mm. like, ugh, I just, ugh, it makes it, it just irritates the hell out of me. I think people really like. I can understand that sometimes, like, you can't use headphones, like, when you're, like, in your car. But, like, if you're just, like, around the house, like, use headphones so you're not, like, disrupting everyone. Hmm. And if you can't use headphones, then keep the freaking volume down by a couple of notches so you're not make so you're not like making people feel like you're not giving people a hard time making them feel annoyed like hurting their ears or triggering their sensitive hearing. Another thing that triggers my sensitive hearing is like, oh god, I've I've talked about this in like in several videos are now. My uncle has this security alarm, okay, and sometimes it would just not like go off like beep 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 beep, 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 beep. but. Like, it would make those alert beeps, it, it would like beep six times every minute. It would go, <laughs> every minute, but a lot louder than that. And I remember the first time it that happened, that was the worst because it was like going off for like half the day and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off, how to acknowledge the alert noises. So I, so I had to just kind of deal with it and wait, wait for my brother to wake up because... My my dad and my uncle were at work. Now, my uncle usually works from home, but occasionally he does have to go on some work trips. And, of course, the this had to happen on... One of the very few days he actually had to go on a work trip. So that security alarm was just going. Every minute and like for like five hours until my brother finally woke up and acknowledged it. And and all you have to do is, you know, it's really simple. I don't even know why I had a hard time the first couple of times, but I, but all you have to do is like press a few buttons. Like there's like a, I think you have to press like the big button, and then like there's like a, and then there's it'll open up a panel or it'll open up a menu or whatever, and you'll have to and. 
press that button and that button will have like a triangle with an exclamation point in it. Something like that. But the reason I was like having trouble is because like I I was like feeling tense from the noise and and I was like worried that it would do it like right in my ear when I'm like near it so that's why I was having trouble because sometimes when I'm tense like it it kind of causes me to have a hard time to figure stuff out even simple stuff and when when we move into our when me my dad and my brother when we move into our own house which should be sometime next month which probably somewhere between mid to late June. He's gonna shortly after he get a security system. And I and I I get it. He he wants to make our home secure so it's to keep people from like breaking in, you know, s- stuff like that, but I just don't like it when like they when it keeps beeping for no reason that's that that that's what pisses me off about that about that kind of stuff is when they beep for like stupid reasons or for like no reason really loudly too like it was if it was just like a light. Or like, or like, the it wasn't as loud then. It wouldn't be as bad, but since it's, since it keeps me, since these things make these loud ass noises, just because like the battery is low, or like, the loss of sensor supervision or something. That's. Why, why I have a problem. Same with like smoke detectors. Like. You know, they make some, like. Again, I, I know they're there to like keep you safe and but in this case like let you know if to get out if a fire is starting or like when you're asleep and then like something happens that smoke alarm will wake you because like what if there's like what 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 if there's like what what if a fire starts when you're asleep and it, you know, it's often too late if you don't have a smoke detector. Because my dad said that fires just don't start from cooking. Or you know what I mean, like house fires. That they can also, I know that fires can start from all kinds of stuff. But I'm mostly talking about house fires. They don't just start from cooking, but they can also start due to electrician problems electricity problems my dad said that sometimes like lightning will like hit a power line or a power pole or something and that and that can cause sparks in your outlets and that can cause a fire, you know. He said some, you know, something like that. So I, so yes, they are very important. But the issue I have a problem with them is like, you never know when they're gonna start chirping. Like when the battery runs low and they'll start chirping. That's what worries me. You know, that's the issue I have with, like, security systems and, like, 
smoke detectors. Like, it's one thing when there's something actually happening, like a fire in a smoke detector's case or a burglar in, like, the security alarm's case. But what gets me, what puts me off is, like, like, the security alarm alerting you for certain stuff or the smoke detector chirping if it's out of battery. That's what, cons that's what worries me about these things, about these alarms if you will. But other than that, like, I realize you gotta have them to stay 100% secure. Now. I've never had an issue with, like, or at least I've never heard the smoke, like, a chirping smoke detector. Like, when, like, at the, like, when I'm, like, at my house. Which, I spent the majority of my life in Orange Grove. The only time I would, like, hear the smoke detector chirp is if, like, the, I, I remember, like, a long time ago, like, sometimes the, when the power came back on, the smoke detector would chirp, chirp. Because I think it does that because the smoke de detector wants to chirp for you to make sure it's like working properly because sometimes power outages can, when it comes to like e electric stuff, sometimes power outages can mess with that. So the smoke detector will chirp for you to make sure it's working. Or to make sure it's on or something. But other than that, I've never, I've, act, I've never had a problem with that. But that doesn't mean I will in the future. When we move into our future house. However, I do remember two incidents where, excuse me. The smoke detector would chirp, but these, but, but both of these incidents, we were away from home. I remember back in June, twenty thirteen, we were staying at the motel in Orange Grove because our AC was out. I believe that was the reason. I do remember. Our AC going out, going out around that time, but I'm I'm not one hundred percent sure if that was the same trip, but I believe it was. Anyway, while my dad and my mom were out getting fast food, I think they were getting water burger or, or something. It was just me and my brother in the room and all of a sudden the smoke detector just started chirping beep beep and it kept like startling me I, I kept just covering my ears and oh I was so tense and every time it would chirp I would go, ah, beep, ah, until my parents freaking finally came back. And then my, and like the first thing my brother told them was like, Shauna has just been having a heart attack this whole time, which was true because like I said, I have a hard time handling loud, unexpected, sudden noises like that. But 
thankfully, I think my mom, and my mom was like, as, like, as soon as it, like, chirped, the first time it chirped, when she came back, she was like, yeah, that's gotta go. So she, I think she took the paint off the wall. I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to, like, talk to the hotel, st or the motel staff. If the smoke detector starts chirping, but I, I don't blame my mom. <laughs> I probably would have done the same thing. I don't know, maybe. And then there was another time where this was in August 2016. We were staying in an, an RV for a few days in Marble Falls. When we got the RV hooked up, I was like already in bed trying to go to sleep. It was like two in the morning and I could hear the smoke detector chirp a couple of times, which that wasn't as bad. Cause like, like I said in the other video where I was talking and telling these stories, first of all, I was kind of far away from the smoke detector. And second of all, my parents were already there. We we didn't have to wait for them to get back. So after like a few chirps, they a few times it chirped, they just my mom just took the thing off the wall or my dad or something. I remember back on the thirteenth, we were actually walking in the house that we were that we're gonna be moving into and it has everything I that I need, like a a bunch of outlets, a shower head that you can take the take off. It's easier to use that than to use one that's attached to the wall, and and just other stuff that makes it more convenient for us. The layout is right the, it has the tv in the kitchen to where my dad can like watch tv while he's cooking but the one thing that turned me off was that there was a smoke detector in my room and i and i was like hoping to i, I was hoping that there wouldn't be one in my room please don't let there be a smoke detector in my room please don't let there be a smoke detector in my room Please don't let there be a smoke detector in my room. And of course, there, of course, it had to happen. There had to be a smoke detector in my room. I was like, ugh. Like I said, like, I can understand, like, like I said earlier in the video, like, having one in your room will, like, in, in, in case something happens, like a fire starts from like electricity or or if your smoke detectors are like connected to each other it'll be able to wake you up like if someone starts a fire from ac accidentally by cooking like I understand that but the thing that concerns me is like it it's like you know like it getting low on battery and then it start chirping. Beep. 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 My dad said that they're hardwired into the wall and they say that the smoke detectors won't chirp if they are hardwired, but I've heard that they still can. Some smoke detectors that are hardwired have like a battery anyway that serves as a backup in case the wire isn't working or or whatever. So they can So they can still, so yeah, I heard that they can still, 
I don't know about these smoke detectors, but but still, certain hardwired, if not all, hardwired smoke detectors can still chirp due to low battery. And I'm worried that will happen like in the middle of the night, or if my dad's at work. You know that would suck because if it's in the middle of the night, then I would have to wake him up. But if and if he's at work, then I won't be able to have someone help change the battery. Because I'm not gonna I don't wanna get up on the ceiling myself. I'll I'll bust my ass and probably bust my head open, so I want I wanna be able to help someone who's who, who can do that and who is more careful about that stuff. Like I said, especially when like I'm getting close to devices that will make a loud noise and I'm like near them. That makes me extremely tense and that will make it even worse. And for all we know, I could fall off the chair or the ladder or bust my head open, bust my ass, possibly die <laughs> I don't know I'm, I'm probably going too far with this I'm probably overthinking this but yeah that that's what I'm worried about I'm I'm worried about it chirping at the worst time and it not shutting up until I can get my dad or someone to come help me Like I said, I I know these are meant to keep you safe, save your life, let you know if something bad's happening. I just don't like it when they like if it's like a security alarm, if it like beeps for stupid reasons, or you know, when if it's like a smoke detector, it chirp for like low battery you know that's the issue I have with these security devices I'm also very I'm not just sensitive when it comes to hearing but I'm also sensitive when it comes to vision like sometimes like the sun will be too bright for me sometimes it'll be overwhelmingly bright like and I have to like squinch my eyes really tightly like this. Like even when I'm even like in here sometimes the like yesterday, like that was I think it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or the day before, but I think it was yesterday. I woke up and oh the the sun was just overwhelmingly bright and I had to like put a blanket over my face to block it out and the thing is it's I don't like doing that because sometimes it's hard for me to breathe when I when I do that so that's why I don't really like doing that I can't wait till I'm able to block out the sun in my new house another thing that I'm sensitive to is like s strobing flashing colors like now, don't get me wrong, I'm, it won't give me a seizure like it does some people, but it does make, it, it, it is overwhelming for me. It, it does hurt my eyes and give me a headache, but it won't like give me a seizure, but it does do those other things. I'm also very sensitive to like, touch as well like for example like I cannot wear jeans they like feel like sandpaper on my legs like I don't even like wearing sweatpants sometimes I I mostly wear dresses and skirts Shorts are okay, but it just kind of depends. Like, if, if I'm going out and it's, like, hot, then 
I I wouldn't mind wearing some like soft shorts, but if it's like, but if if I'm just like chilling around the house and or going or we're not going outside or if it's not hot, then I prefer to wear like dresses and skirts. You see, guys, I am on the spectrum and I have neurofibromatosis. Tos neurofibromatosis type 1 and one of the symptoms I have is sensory perception. I'm a lot more sensitive in some of my senses than some people like certain textures are overwhelming for me. Certain sounds are overwhelming for me like if, if they're like loud and Certain veins can be overwhelming for my vision, like brightness and strobing lights. So, yeah. I just thought I'd share this with you guys. I know some of you guys are probably going to relate with me on this. But I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys so you can get to know more about me. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.